Welcome to a new video where I want to present to you my one year experience with the Mate XS. Granted, it is not exactly one year because I ordered it in April, but because of coronavirus, as we know, it arrived in May. But anyway, I have to make a confession. I got rid of the screen protector today because when I opened it up, it's a folding phone, if I opened it up, it was peeling off at the hinge, so I ripped it off and now I'm living with this and without a screen protector, at least for a few weeks until my new screen protector will arrive. It comes from Great Britain, so it will take a while, um, probably after Easter. Anyway, I can show you this device in its pristine state right now with this almost vanilla untouched uh, screen because there was a screen protector on it and hint 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 if you saw my um, uh, protector case foldable case huawei made access foldable case video you saw all the smudges all the rips and all the all the all the scratches on the old screen protector so if you want to see the device now without the screen protector and how well the screen protector worked just stay tuned maybe you can see it already here it is pretty pretty awesome so let's get started let's go and look into the details of this device after one years of usage now that device is coming down in price is it something for 2021 let's take a look So here the details, I have my cloth here to clean it up and as you can see this is now the closed state and we take a look at the device itself and we see if we can see any smudges or scratches, nothing. So the screen protector worked pretty nicely. Let's open up the device, hint hint, the new case that I have here, the foldable case. And now let's take a look at the other side here. We can see the, the hinge mechanism here a little bit. But it's pretty much uh, not visible to the naked eye most of the time. Just when I hold it here in the light, you can see it's pretty nice. Nothing, not the slightest view of any um, smudges, scratches or anything else here. As much as maybe, but not scratches. So pretty pristine display. I think it's on the highest brightness. Now it's on the highest brightness, as you can see here and it's a very good display still if you want to watch videos if you want to play something if you open up websites and uh, here's some news for example it is very nice uh, this uh, screen here that you can see a very nice oled screen that works without um, big problems and issues the device itself is very fluid it is running the newest version of emotion ui so we have here emotion ui 11 running as you can see here emui 11 is running here on this device so pretty nicely done and uh, this will be updated properly to harmony as, as well so very nice uh, speed um, no complaints here at all so it's running pretty fluidly as you can see here it is only 60 hertz the display itself but it is very very quick and very very responsive uh, we have some news in here we have stock markets as well for the same news that you saw and uh, yeah it's pretty nicely done no issues at all when it comes to software of course you have to uh, just uh, skip google services because they are not available here but this is not an issue for me most of the time you can see i have youtube installed via youtube advanced i've made a video about this as well and we have some applications here most of the applications run as you can see here telegram force i have running here reddit uh, wechat me time uh, all those applications that I have installed here for streaming services. I also have Netflix installed, which runs fine. Only uh, SD quality, but still uh, pretty respectable uh, for this. I have uh, Amazon Prime Video running here without any issues, Crunchyroll and uh, some others as well. Uh, I have a uh, studio link, YouTube studio link here for for managing my youtube videos and content that loads as well in this aspect ratio in the desktop mode where i can uh, simply then manage my youtube videos otherwise i have the huawei app gallery to install applications 
uh, very nicely done here as well. The cool thing is that I have also multitasking support. So if I go in here, I have the option to just simply uh, open up a window like this. I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. Usually I can do this. Uh, so usually I can yeah resize the window, make it smaller or bigger. I can go into full screen or just minimize it and open up another application, just like for example Twitter. And now I have Twitter running. I can open up files again and have now Twitter and files. So if I'm searching for an image file that I want to drag over to Twitter, I can do so as well. So this is pretty nicely done here. And of course I can minimize this, minimize this, and then I have a nice task switcher. And of course I have the option to open up even more applications, just like for example, I have the option, uh, what, let's open up this uh, Tusky uh, Mastodon client. So I have now this, I can minimize it, and now I have my task switcher. And I have a very productive way of working here. You can see also that it is remembering the last position of a window, which is also pretty nice and handy. Then, of course, the device itself also has the possibility via the USB type C port at the bottom. It is possible to, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, there's a USB type C port. It is possible to uh, attach a monitor uh, on it. I have an adapter here that allows me to plug in an HDMI monitor, uh, use some SD cards, but also USB mouse and uh, keyboard can be attached here. And then I can use a Huawei desktop to browse and surf the web. So if I want to even have a bigger and brighter uh, desktop, this works pretty nicely also without big issues. The sound quality is also nice. Uh, there are some issues when it comes to let's let's uh, search for copyright free music copyright free uh, We have some issues regarding the speaker. It is a bit weak I have to say there's only one speaker at the bottom You can see here is the speaker grill where my thumb is Not sure if you can see it There is the speaker grill and this is pretty much the only speaker grill. 99.9% .9 of sound is coming out of there. So let's play uh, some music here. It's getting pretty loud. And there's an option that if you put it in this landscape mode that the uh, grill, the earpiece grill here as well, will play some music as well, but uh, let's try to see if we can. It's very, very low in comparison to this main speaker, so a little bit is coming out there. I would not say that this is some kind of stereo effect. Don't misunderstand me, it's, it's not a bad speaker. It has, it's not tinny at all. It is getting pretty loud, but I would have liked to have this also on the other side to have real stereo. And um, yeah, this little tiny speaker is almost non-hearable. So everything is coming out of this one side. Uh, if you're gaming, if you're watching videos, this might be a disturbance. When it comes to everything else, like uh, uh, Wi-Fi, no issues at all. Bluetooth, no issues at all. Uh, in fact, I can just grab my uh, Bluetooth devices here, and you can show. I can show you how fast it is connecting. So let me open up my FreeBuds uh, Pro here. Open this up, and then. There we go, it's connected already. And uh, you can see it under Bluetooth devices here, Huawei FreeBuds Pro connected already. So pretty fast and quick. When it comes to Bluetooth connections, no issues at all when it comes to this. NFC is on board as well. So you can put uh, this on top of other devices, just like here, my MatePad uh, Pro. And this has a contact for, for, for sharing stuff. So let's, Unlock the MatePad Pro. If I put it on here, there should be. Oh yeah, I have to go into the uh, wireless projection, multi screen collaboration. And now you can see, did it? It, it is uh, telling me, should I connect to the Huawei MatePad Pro? And I say connect. And then multi screen cooperation is working. I hit allow here. 
and you can see that this is working as well so this was not working initially this is now working without any issue so i can do this i can go even in this mode here and you can see that the multi-screen collaboration here in the background adapts uh, to that as well so this is also working pretty nicely i like this uh, pretty uh, much now here you can see that i ordered from ebay this hydrogel film screen protector for the mate xs and uh yeah, get a nice little email as well. So emails are also working using Huawei email uh, app for this. You can see you get notifications for those kinds of apps. Let's get rid of the MatePad Pro. Uh, so this is working pretty nicely uh, without any issues. The only issue that I encountered in terms of apps are of course applications that require google play services interestingly enough most of them work fine even without google play services just like for example i can show you google maps is working here without any issues just go somewhere else so you don't see my location we can see here uh can surf around here is not an issue at all the only problem comes as soon as you need the google play account somehow and by the way why i'm showing you this like this this is even cooler for navigating around uh, a city or something like this and you have some groceries restaurants coffees hotels as well you can use the whole google services the only pro uh, google maps applications the only problem comes when you want to what is it go contribute if you want to sign in you can see that add an account and then micro g services in this case are loading for me but it doesn't work for me at least uh, so this is a problem so if you don't have micro g installed it will not come up at all and uh, the rest like social media is working fine cloud is working fine i have box next cloud i have uh, huawei docs even installed i made a video about it if you're interested in this mega just no issues at all so applications in general like uh, those are running fine even multimedia applications are running fine i have some of them here installed and i have even some video editors installed inshot video shop kinemaster ucut power direct and adobe rush i used them all and they work pretty nicely and fine and the, the snap uh, the snapring is a current processor in here is pretty fast in encoding those files i made a whole uh, video you can see my other channel leshek in new zealand and uh, china where you can check out my videos at least from new zealand uh, that are almost 99 percent of the, uh, them are made with the mate xs with the back cameras here which are pretty much the p30 cameras on the back uh, as you can see here the back cameras with the 40 megapixel with a 16 megapixel ultra wide and i think 8 megapixel it is uh, the uh, telezoom uh, pretty nicely working there's a tough sensor in there as well and uh, yeah using the ultra wide 16 megapixel with autofocus allows me to create nice little vlogs otherwise if uh, the light is a bit dim i can use the larger sensor the 40 megapixel sensor that works pretty nicely for taking photos and also for taking videos yeah this is uh, a very good device even for 2021 it's fast enough it has the the battery usage is also very uh, cool um, two days i get here you can see 42 hours and 35 minutes remaining and if i go to power saving mode i have even 51 hours remaining and uh, battery consumption you can see here my battery levels uh, screen on time is three hours and 40 minutes already and uh, i'm at uh, yeah 81 percent you can see where this is then going it is uh, very 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 cool and i'm also using a lot of youtube here as you can see this is why of course then the battery consumption uh, is a bit higher uh, but yeah this is basically everything that i can tell you of the mate xs if you have questions about the mate xs if you're thinking about buying the mate xs just write them down in the comments section that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye